Hey guys, I'm LB, and I need to apologize about last episode. What happened was, I did not check my disk space before I started recording, and, uh, I, <laughs> I ran out of disk space. I left, I left, uh, I think it was this puzzle over here I left. Yeah, this one, last episode we were in, and I, I left the puzzle, and, it, and the game told me that there was an error saving my game state. And, uh, I stopped recording, I checked my disk space, zero bytes free. That is a scary thing to have happen. So, what happened was, uh, OBS obviously stopped recording when I ran out of disk space, and, uh, the file was corrupted. So I had to use a program to restore it, because it- that was the best I could do. And it was terrible. Last episode was awful, and I really apologize for that. So this episode, I think the only- I think the only puzzle we solved, and that we actually solved last episode was, um, this one. Transfer. So, I'm gonna show this one again, just so that you can see it without the horrible audio, video, desync issues. Um, let's see, let's get started. So, we do this, right? And then, we connect these together, and this is how the transfer is gonna happen. So right now, they're just fighting, but if we take this guy around here... What we can do is connect it to that, and that. And what's gonna happen is, it's going to interrupt the red beam right here, and that'll allow the blue beam to get to this connector, and in turn get to this guy. So if we place this... Look at that! That's the transfer right there. So that's how you solve this one. Okay, so... I think... I think that's all we did last episode. <laughs> uh, I think we did this already, right? Yes, yes, I remember doing- I remember that watching, watching the episodes back. Temporal Solution. I think we may have also done this one last episode, so let me- let me think. Yeah, I think we did. So, if I recall correctly... Oops. Come on, I need to right-click. We'll do this one again, just in case. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, so, I think... What we want to do... Is interrupt... The beam, but I don't remember... How did we do it? Right, 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 right. Um... No. <laughs> this is really cool. I really should have watched the episode in full, but... Um... How did I do it? Oh! Oh, right, 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 I remember now. So then we quickly back into here, and then we do the same for... No, 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 no. Do the same here, and it interrupts the beam. Yeah, there we go. That's the temporal solution. That's how you do that one. Okay, so then I think we tried messing with Raymania and didn't get anywhere. And but then we also tried messing with... No, wait, did we do binary as well? I don't know, I'm gonna redo binary just in case. I think we tried messing with this one, small space big solution, and couldn't get it. And that's- that's when my recording died. I have ample disk space now, guys, don't worry. The issue is that this game does not compress very well. This- this game, each episode is like 5 gigs. So let's see, with binary... Get this started as usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm trying to remember what we did. I know it had something to do with getting this guy to interrupt the beam in just the right way.
yeah, I think it was something like that. And then what we do is we take... this... and point it at both of those. Oh, dang it, did we let the guy back in? <laughs> Whoops! Come back out, little buzzer! I don't want you to be in there. Be free, little buzzer! So then he'll pass through... Yep, yep, there it is, so... As soon as he passes through the beam... Oh, uh, I had that issue before, I remember. Well... You get the idea, it's mostly just about... ...fiddling with the angles here until it works. Because he has to cross the beam for long enough for it to work. Ah well, you get the idea. I got it to work, so that's all that matters. So let's see, it looks like the two puzzles that we got stuck on are the only two we have left. Let's work on... Oh, first let me- let me shut this off, because this is gonna be absolutely annoying unless I do something about it. There. Small space, big solution. This is the one that I was having issues on, trying to figure out. So we get in here, right? And then I don't know what to do. <laughs> so... I think, by the way, I figured out how the game decides where these beam collisions happen. I think it's always the halfway point. And sometimes in a complex laser connection system, the halfway point isn't always very obvious. But... I don't think it's done by distance, I think it's done by the number of nodes. So, like... It, it does it between these two connectors, because the distance is from... from there, one... two... One, two... You get the idea. And that's how it determines where the collisions happen. Because it wouldn't make a collision here, because this is- this is too early for the collision to happen. Thing is... If I could just at least get through this barrier, that would help. I know I've called these fizzlers in the past, but these are not fizzlers. The purple things... These are fizzlers, right here. This is a fizzler. But these are just regular barriers. They're just walls that you can turn on and off. Because nothing in the game passes through these. If anything in the game could pass through these, then these would be fizzlers. But since they're... Since nothing in the game passes through them, they're just ba regular barriers. Our goal is to hit that. The question is how, because we need to be in here as well for it to work. Like, we could just do this, but that, that doesn't really help much because we're not actually in there. The collision happens at the connector itself, because of the distances. Yeah. That's one, and that's one. We want to interrupt the blue beam while we're in here.
We want to do something like transfer, I believe. Like the same idea as in transfer. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't see how I can set it up to work the same way as transfer. If I move this any more over, then it won't be able to hit that at all. And that's the main problem that I'm trying to work around. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. And we can't- can't do anything with this guy. This guy's not even pre-connected to anything either. That's really close, but... That doesn't work, because as soon as it cuts off... Like, it starts to disable this, but not long enough. Because this is the right idea, but... Wrong angle. And there's nothing over in this direction that I can connect it to. What? Oh, but that's... that's an emitter, not a receiver. I need to connect it to a receiver so that the beam comes from the connector. Or maybe I don't. How does it work? Oh, but it's still not even the... it's still not the right angle! I need something in this... this angle right here, and I don't know where that would be. Like, there's nothing over here that I can point it at and just have it work the way I want it to. And this is no good. That's definitely the wrong angle in the opposite direction. You know, I don't think I've explored this waterfall at all. Oh, the water gets kinda deep here. How far out can we go? In the beginning were the work. Yeah. Basically as far out as there's eye candy, and that's it. But I'm expecting some sort of secrets to be around here. At least somewhere, right? I'm mainly give using this as time to think about that puzzle. But I'm really not sure. Beginning were the work.
there really nothing out here? Just... eye candy? So if I put both connectors in that same... room, it's not gonna help me, I don't think. I don't see how it would help me, anyway. Like, I need one connector in each room to do anything, really. Okay, we've come full circle. at all unless we have a connector in here. That doesn't help at all, because that one's not connected to anything, so it's not even gonna interrupt the beam. I don't know. We'll- we'll think on that one for a while. Let's head over back to Ray Trivia, or, uh, Ray Mania, sorry. There's no way I can see both of these at once, unfortunately. Yeah, these are... these have got flanges on the edges to prevent me from doing that. This is the problem. <laughs> this right here is the problem. I need to do another maneuver of some sort. Let's get this connector out, at least for now. So we can maybe use it at some point. And we'll set this guy back up again to point at that. Perhaps, maybe, also... this? But then... Because our end goal... Blue there, right? Which we can kinda do. If I move... Uh... Crap. Oh, 
Ooh, that was close. And then... right there. <laughs> How can I do that? I mean, I can do that. That's kinda helpful, right? Okay, there's that, right? So now... If I do this... Hey, I think I did it! No, <laughs> I need the jammer too? Oh no... That's... an issue... Alright, well, I'll think on this between episodes, so as always, thank you for watching, and if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.